Hey everyone, Shin Sprite Ditto, welcoming you back for more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we made our way through the Death Mountain Trail and up into Goron City. And we're in this part, we're going to be interrupted by Navi constantly. It looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. Thank you, Navi, because I was just dying to hop in some lava. But we made our way to Goron City, where we learned the Gorons are being super picky eaters and will not eat rocks that are not delicious. And the only way to get them delicious rocks is to kill the Dodongos inside Dodongos Cavern. And now in this episode, we are going to attack the Dodongos. Because I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. But yeah, we're going to make our way through the second dungeon of the game already. I cannot believe that. The first part is not even uploaded yet. Uh, and now we're going to be using bombs a lot, because whenever we see bomb flowers, chances are we'll probably need them for something. So we're already in the second dungeon. I'm going to try my best to get through the entire dungeon in one part. But if it, if it ends up being like 45, 50 minutes, uh, like some of the later ones, I'm just probably going to have to cut it up into different sections. Because uh, that's a little bit excessive to ask somebody to watch, but I do like having the dungeons like contained. Here, new enemy, Baby Dodongos. Watch out for its leaping attack. It will explode if it's defeated. So we want to not attack them because they will explode. However, there's a cracked wall here. I hear a gold Sculptula, and there is no bomb flowers. So let's kill it. Run away. Boom! And now we have this room available to us. And sure enough, there's some keys and a gold Sculptula. Uh, it can be kind of difficult to lead the baby Dodongos to the door, so uh, I actually had a pretty easy time of it this time around. But, just like the, uh, the one Gold Sculptula token that was in the Kikiri Forest, we are too short to just walk into it. So we gotta jump into it in some way. And that's the only purpose that this room serves. But for now, we're gonna avoid these guys. They cannot jump up like- OH NO, THEY CAN! But once you're up here, you're pretty much safe. They're not going to start spawning again. Uh, here we have an introduction of a new type of puzzle. We have weight puzzles. If we were to step on the switch, it'll open the door. But if we get off of it, it'll just close again. The way around this is to try to find something in the room to weight the switch down with. Um, this is going to be another dungeon. I really, really like this dungeon. I think it's a step up from inside the Deku Tree, but it's kind of like inside the Deku Tree, okay, nice, short, simple dungeon to introduce you to some mechanics, but now Dodongo's Cavern is like, okay, you know how a dungeon's gonna work, let's try to make those mechanics a little bit more complicated and introduce some puzzles into the mix. So it's not exactly difficult or confusing in any way, but it says, okay, you know how a dungeon's gonna work, let's just try to make it a little bit more complex before we get to the really difficult stuff with the introduction of mini-bosses. In this room, we have, I believe that these are, um, these are Lizifols here. I'm just gonna try to rearrange, there we go. Yes, so, Lizifols. Use your shield well and fight with Z-targeting techniques. Like pretty much everything in the game, they're gonna slice at you. And what I recommend doing is using a Deku Nut and then smashing away with a Deku stick. After a couple hits, they will jump over to another platform. If you try to chase after them, they will run away. So you have to go and fight the other one that's in the room. And yeah, just after one jump attack. I don't think I ever explained it, but uh, jump attacks do more damage than just a standard attack. They do double damage. So if you have a pretty open area to do a jump attack, you want to try to do it. So, there we go. This one is dead. He is murdered in cold blood. Cold blood? Because he's a Lizifus? He's a lizard? He's cold blood? Yeah, okay. Although, it's pretty warm in this room. So, ooh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Alright, there we go. I profited off your death. Alright. So, yeah, this heart drops in this game are insane. I'm surprised I didn't get some right there. But, I believe that this is the room. This might not be the room, but... Yeah, okay, this is not the room. I will be sure to show what I am talking about later, so you guys do not think that I am just an idiot for jumping directly into fire. 
Although, we saw a heat-resistant tunic that unfortunately we were just way too small to wear. How is it that you will burn up if you go to the center of Death Mountain, but for some reason when you're standing directly in lava, you don't have the same restrictions? I don't know. So here we have a pretty interesting puzzle, and the introduction of what the Gorons are terrified of. <laughs> I'm just forever on fire! Dodongo, watch out for its fiery breath. I got the memo a little too late. Use the targeting techniques, like everything else in the game. The challenge here is to just wait for it to breathe fire, slice its tail. It's going to directly sp spin around, so you want to try to Z-target and jump around it while it spins, because they're going to directly blow fire on you again. Uh, you saw me try and defeat it pretty easily right there. Let me battle another one, just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. It's going to blow fire. You're going to want to jump behind it. And then, ooh, okay, they have armor, so you have to hit directly on their on their tail. He's going to spin. And we're going to make our way back around him while he breathes fire and jump. It just works. And just die. We saw that... There was a bombable wall back here. I'm not gonna sh uh, well, I guess I'll go ahead and show it off. I might as well just show everything that I know in the game. But if we bomb over here... We reveal yet another room. However, we need to unequip our Hylian shield, because if we go up against Dekus, we will have no way of defending against them. So we need to equip the wooden shields so that we can bounce the balls back. All right, you win. In return, I will sell you Deku Sticks. One piece, 15 rupees they are. Okay. Might as well. I don't have any. Uh, this is a business scrub. If you find a unique Deku Scrub like that, it is because they have something that they will sell you. They tend to just really rip you off and sell you more expensive stuff in convenient locations. Stuff that you'll never really need. I just happen to be out of Deku Sticks, and you do need them. But typically, if you need something like that in this game, the game will provide it. I'm sure that one of these pods does indeed have Deku Sticks in it, because that is what we need to progress in this room. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna test that theory real fast. Oh. And of course, uh, I don't get this, but whenever you leave a room, the enemies will respawn. I really hate it when games do that. Even, even for like 1998, that seems just a little bit ridiculous. And we see a lit torch and a bunch of not lit torches. And I said we needed Deku Sticks. Come on, you can put it together. You know, you know, you know. The way forward is open! Ow. And there we go. We've already knocked out a decent portion of the dungeon. I say decent. We're not quite halfway there. Even though we're going to the other side of the dungeon, there is a second floor. Uh, another rocky wall. We've seen other rocky walls like this on our journey so far. So you can probably figure out that we're able to take care of those by bombing them. There's another business scrub over here. I have no idea what he sells you, but it's probably something useless. We got the dungeon map! I stated earlier that the dungeon map has the layout of a dungeon in this game. If you look closely, that dungeon is actually Dodongo's Cavern. If we pull up our map, we can see that this is the dungeon that is on that dungeon map. So, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. Dungeon map. Turn it off for some reason. Now in this room, there is a giant staircase. But this is way too tall for us to climb. But I see a bunch of bomb flowers, and Navi's just gonna point out, how oh, look, there's a bomb flower, but it looks like there should be one missing. Well, would you look at that? There's one right over here. All right. Boom, 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 boom. And I hear the gold sculptures. But that somehow causes it to crumble down. And if we can wait for this to respawn. There's another wall. 
And we have some statues here. We can just push those out of the way, right? 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 No! This is a Armos. They have shields and swords, and they will just charge after you non-stop. But if you stun them and then jump attack them, they will start glowing red, and it's never good when enemies do that, and eventually explode. That lets us back out again, but here we have another big chest. And we know what kind of items are in big chests like this. You know what they say about big chests, big keys. No, instead we got the compass. So now we can see the location of many hidden things in the dungeon. So already have the dungeon map and the compass. That's some pretty good progress, honestly. And instead of climbing, I'm just gonna backflip my way up there. Now, you can see a gold sculpture up there. Camera will stay still. We have no way of getting that right now, which means that we will have to come back to this dungeon and uh, and get that gold sculpture. But instead, we have one just right up here. And we can get this one. You destroyed a gold sculpture. So, here we can get a better look at it. We can see that there is one right there. From what I gather, there is a way to get that. But, it'll be just a lot easier if I just go and get this at another time. But just keep in mind that it is there, and we will return for it in a uh, video much later in the series. And Fire Keys! If you have your Deku Shield equipped, uh, these are just the keys that we saw earlier in the graveyard, but of course they're on fire. When they hit you, uh, they put the flame out because they catch you on fire. If you have your Wooden Shield equipped, the Deku Shield, it will actually burst into flames and you will completely lose it. And you will have to go back to Kikiri Forest in, uh, in order to find it. And, you know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do, you don't wanna do that. And I don't need that to happen. And my Deku Nut activated another one. I heard it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right. That was very... I don't know why I was so loud. And with that one gone, I'll push this one to the side. We can step on the switch here. Yeah, you can see that the puzzles aren't anything too crazy, but they are... A little bit more complicated than what we would find in the Great Deku Tree, and a lot more enemies around. Just slightly bigger. They're they're really good at like pacing themselves with the progression of this game. So let's see. What we got. I got some hearts. Sure, I'll, I, I can use them. Some fire keys floating. Uh, if you get knocked down, you want to try to deal with these fire keys, even if you know how to get across pretty well. Just because if they happen to knock you down. There's no way to just instantly come back up. You will have to just completely walk all the way back around again. And... Listen! You never know what will be around the corner in these narrow paths. Easy targeting to... Didn't we already have a tutorial for this? Do you really need to tell me again? Yes, there are these spikes that are on the floor. If we use Z-targeting, we can change our perspective because perspective is powerful and we can see uh, what direction these sliding things are going to come from, from avoiding them. And we have a block here that we can pull out and climb on top of it. There's a little alcove back here. If you need a recovery heart, that's there. And we can see that there's a bomb flower here. And a rocky wall there. So we are going to throw the bomb flower and open this chest. So if you're if you're pretty good, which I am not, you can there's a very small ledge, and you can have the bomb flower actually rest on that ledge and it'll just explode. But instead, it's just a little bit easier to try to time it out and have it explode in the air when you throw it. What? Of course I say that, and then I actually make it onto the ledge. And I also failed the timing, so if it didn't, I would have failed. And an eye crystal. Um, fire blocking the way. Just shoot it. It's all nice and simple. 
you see a big eye just staring at you, you gotta shoot it. And, yeah, so, more baby Dodongos, but we're just gonna walk past them because I don't want them to explode, but they just keep diving into me anyway. And this room looks familiar. Hello. Yet more Lizafalls already reusing mini bosses. Isn't that such a great sign? Oh, I don't have any Deku stick. That's why it's not working. I'm like, what do you mean I can't hit it? But it's because my total is zero. I if I don't have an item, of course, it's not going to let me use it. Yeah, come over here. So when they jump over like that, that is pretty much the timing you want to do on your shield. Uh, just to make sure they don't hit you. And that's why this mini-boss really is here, to just get you used to using the Hylian shield. Uh, sort of like how the Tech Tights in Death Mountain, tra uh, Death Mountain Trail, they kind of prepare you for this. It's just enemies that jump and will attack you. So they really built this dungeon around you using the Hylian shield for a majority of it. And if we jump over here, we can see some hearts, but on top of that, we can actually see the room where we fought the Lizafuls before. So I like to imagine that these are the same Lizafuls, but when we were down here, or that there were four Lizafuls and two of them just jumped down from up here when they saw us come in. I don't know, it just makes it feel a little more unique like that. And also that lava that I jumped into, is actually pouring down here. Um, the reason I jumped into it is because I could have sworn that there was some pots behind the lava. And there probably are, but I don't want to spend too much time looking for the exact location. And another eye. Reusing mini bosses and reusing puzzles. Can't believe they're already creatively bankrupt. But no, now there's actually an eye to the side this time. So instead of shooting one eye, you shoot two! And I really like the way this dungeon connects, how like those two rooms connected, uh, the two Lizafuls rooms, and now uh, that we did like a spiral to get back up, this is actually the room where we threw the bomb flower into the wall and the spikes were on the ground before. But now, there's this big chest here that we can get. What's it gonna be? As if I don't know. You found a bomb bag! That's bombastic! This bomb holding bag is made from a Dodongo's stomach. That's a really nice detail. But we can hold up to 20 bombs! We finally have a really, really good item. I mean, we have some good items, but we have seen so many cracked walls on our journey so far. And of course, now we have a way to actually deal with that. So... I just want to see what's over here. Just some rupees. Man, it really sucks when you see secrets in cool areas like this, but you're just not tempted to go over to them because the rewards are just so god-awful. Because most of the time when you're exploring for stuff, if it's not a heart piece and you just get rupees as a prize, the game doesn't really require you to have rupees, so it just feels kind of useless. And with that switch, we now have an easy way up back to the top if you happen to fall down or restart the dungeon because you have to save and quit. With that switch on, the main platform goes higher. Now you can quickly reach the second floor. Wow, it's almost like I just said that. And what is here? Oh. What is here? Giant dead Dodongo. When it sees red, a new way to go will be open. So a funny thing about this is that this is the L is real statue from Mario 64. If you know those rumors about Luigi being in the game, this is the exact model and text that is on that statue. Uh, that's used in the castle courtyard and in uh, Super Mario 64. So they just reused that for Ocarina of Time. So they reused a mini boss, reused a puzzle, and reused an asset from another game. Shame on you, Zelda team. No, I'm kidding. This game. Uh, I'm gonna go into the development of this game at a later point when it's more relevant to what I'm what we're doing in the game. But this game had just such a miserable development. It's fascinating the amount of people that suffered just so this good game could happen and with no way further to go the l is real statue told us that when the dodongo sees red a new way will open so let's try to make it see red we got some holes here so let's just see if we can drop bombs if we can shoot eyes we can certainly blow them up and one eye is red and oh ah! 
Well, at least there's no penalty for falling now. We can just drop that right in and... A new way open. I almost said a new way open is open. If you're wondering, these enemies are BMOs. They will just shoot lasers at you. They are pretty quick at shooting lasers, but if you can time a bomb just right, you can immediately blow them up. Uh, if you're bad with uh, throwing bombs for the timing and distance, you can just sell one beside them and eventually it'll blow up, but if it sees the bomb, it'll shut its eye and you won't kill it. So more fire key. We're already at the end of the dungeon. Wow, this felt really short, but maybe it's just because I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun with this game that maybe just the dungeon felt like it was only two minutes long. Hello. Hello. I hear you. Where? There you are. Cool. So... We see that this down here is a... Is a weighted puzzle, and that is our way forward. You can see the skull on the mini-map indicating that this is the boss of the dungeon. And we see a block down there that we could probably push to open our way forward and keep the block weighted, but we cannot reach up there because, just like everything else in this game, we're too short. Hello, fire. Why am I trying to hit you with my sword when I have a slingshot? Hello. Man, it sucks we can't use the Hylian shield as a normal shield. It looks so cool. <laughs> Especially on the 3DS, it has like a glowing effect. And the glowing effect is just really nice. And we see a way... We see a way open over there. But we also see a cracked wall. We're gonna throw a bomb down. Have it open up a second way forward. Branching paths? What? really a step above the Deku Tree. And I'm gonna throw a bomb because I think that that is a... Yep. It killed the... It killed the Skulltula. And there we go! Am I too short again? No, I am not too short! For once in this game, I'm not too short to do something. But yes, other than the one that I showed you that we can't get yet, all three of those gold Skulltulas are the only ones that we can get for right now. But we will come back to get that fourth one. There's nothing else that we can do. So let's just focus on making our way to the boss. And you dropped nothing. I jumped down for nothing. And I'm just going to ignore you. I recommend that the second empty bottle that we got for getting the cuckoo lady back her cuckoos, I recommend you equip that. Because in one of these pots, we have a fairy. And as I mentioned earlier in the Let's Play, if you catch a fairy and you keep it in a bottle, then we can be revived if we die. So if we lose all our health, the fairy will just pop out of the bottle and restore us back to full health. And now we've made a full rotation. We're being elevated a little bit more. And we're back in that first room, and now we're actually where the block is. And we can push it down back into this main room. So now we're just right outside the boss. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these little fucking fucks again. Now, like, part of my language, but oh my god. Not that I've had any trouble using strong language before on this Let's Play, but... Sometimes it just happens. It just happens. I can't control it. Well, I can control it, but... I won't control it. But now, we finally have the weight necessary to keep the Switch in place. The Nintendo Switch! And, through that door, it's the boss fight of Dodongo's Cavern. Already, the second dungeon is over. 
So next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we'll be going and finishing the second dungeon. I'll see you guys then.